Okay, guys, so today we're gonna be talking about some wood burning kits to avoid. I know you've seen these kits on Amazon, so I'm gonna open them up and show you what's inside and kind of give you the uh, information that you need to make a good decision about these types of kits. So let's talk about it. And welcome to the Power Crafters Wood Burning Channel where we discuss all things wood burning, from projects to equipment to experimenting with new techniques. Every week I post something new about wood burning and different wood burning accessories. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, please consider subscribing. I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about these Amazon kits. I know you've seen them on there. They're like 57 piece kits or 87 plus piece wood burning kits um, and there's usually a name on the listing but they're not really branded uh, and I find that they change a lot the names on these listings change a lot and for some reason they have these amazing reviews um, which I have a gut feeling aren't a hundred percent accurate or truthful these are my opinions these are my hunches um, I have not like done formal research or have formal research on these companies. This is just me giving you my opinions and my hunches. So please do your own research and you know form your own opinions about that kind of stuff. Let's open these up and I want to show you what you're really getting in this you know giant piece kit. So here we go. Let's just get all up in there and look at all the things. You know what I mean. Let's talk about these kits. So if you go to Amazon and look at these you'll see there's some kits on there that say like 87 piece kits like 30 bucks or 35 bucks or whatever the price is they're all they all fluctuate um this is the kind of kit that's in there so i'm going to show you what's in these kits um, and i just want to talk about them for a minute because um the issue with these kits the issue that i have with these and I'm not trying to knock anybody's brand or anything like that, but there are so many people that come to me and tell me that they've gotten these and they were unhappy with them. So just thought I would add this in. I've got two of these here. Um, and that's the other thing I wanna address is these don't have brands on them. So the Amazon listing will have a name, but when you get the tool, there's no brand in here. Nothing in this kit is branded. So it makes me believe that these are just overseas manufacturers these large companies i i mean and i haven't put any research into um the listings or the companies that sell these and where they are what their deal is or any of that information i'm just i'm kind of giving you my opinions here my hunches uh so feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions but um what i have found with these kits sorry just plugging it up says it goes up to 100 and 450 degrees but even this this little cheap plastic dial i can't even turn it all the way to 450. Uh, so my issue with these kits because they don't have a brand um, my feeling is uh, these aren't companies that care about wood burners or the wood burning community or have uh, the wood burning community's best interest at heart when they're making these products. They are literally just cranking these out and selling them by the thousands uh, because they're popular. Um, a few years ago, these kits, doesn't seem like these kits existed on Amazon. I mean, I could be wrong, but I remember when I first bought my Colwood kit, kit, I actually had a hard time finding a kit on Amazon and now they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So these overseas manufacturers find out what's popular. They start cranking out the cheapest thing they can and selling it. And the the reason why they sell so well is because there's it has this perceived value of being an awesome deal because you get all these 800 bazillion pieces in here. But I'm gonna talk about these pieces. Um, this is the little <laughs> cheapo flimsy metal stand that it comes with. Uh, which I mean honestly works as well as as the Walnut Hollow and Chandler tool but it just feels like if you bend this too much bend this little arm here it's eventually gonna break off so these are these are the tips you get so let's talk about these tips um, first off a lot of them are soldering tips which is not um, 
is not meant to be a wood burning tip. It's not meant to be used for wood burning because it's so long, um, you're gonna break them. You're gonna easily break them. When you put pressure on these elongated tips, uh, they're gonna break much easier because they're not meant to have pressure put on them. They're meant to be used for solder. And you know, you can use a solder kit as a wood burning kit. I think one of my very first videos, um, I bring up this uh, solder kit that I got on Amazon and was showing people what's in the solder kit and just letting people know that you can use a solder kit to wood burn. It's just that it's not meant for that. It's not ideal. So if you're going to go out and buy something, why not buy the thing that it's meant to be used for? Just like, you know, if you're trying to hammer something and you can't find your hammer, there's a million things you can use in place of it because you don't have a hammer at the moment. But if you're gonna go out and buy a tool, then buy the specific one you need. Uh, and that's kind of the same thing here. So while you can use these solder tips, uh, it's not ideal. It's not meant for wood burning. It's not a long-term solution. So if you're gonna go buy a kit, buy a wood burning kit with tips in it specifically meant for wood burning that are meant to withhold high temperatures for long periods of time and then are gonna last you a lot longer. So there are several of those in here, several of these um, sort of solder type elongated tips. Um, yeah. And these are their metal tips. I'm so just going to dump this out. It's way too hard to fiddle with it inside of this case. And I just, I just want to caution you newbies out there about these kits. Um, I feel like you'd be much better off going with a quality brand like Walnut Hollow or Chandler Tool, even though you don't get as many pieces in the kit because the pieces you're getting are much better quality than these 800 bazillion pieces you don't need. You get a pack of color pencils, which, why? And you get all these tiny little stencils. I mean, I guess if you're burning things that are extremely tiny, these would be helpful. Maybe Christmas ornaments. I could see how some of these would be helpful. Um, some of these little Christmassy type things. And you get a lot of these in here. Um, but most of these icons, you guys, you can get these for free on the internet. I mean, you don't need these. These are just like freebie little icon stencil-y things. Um, and you're paying extra for these when you probably won't use very many of them at all. And you can get uh, the specific ones you, off, you need off the internet. Comes with, oh, sorry, that's just a sleeve. What's the other thing? Oh, there's some more stencils in here. More stencils. Okay, so let's talk about these pieces. Um, so this I could see being used as a wood burning tip. These, these are stamps. These are stamp things. You're only gonna be able to do one thing with those things, which is stamp, another stamp, another stamp. Um, I don't, I guess this would be considered a straight edge tip, but it is so awkwardly made. I don't think it would be great for that. Uh, luckily, they do actually provide a skew or universal or um, straight edge tip, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have only used this one other time, and you can see that metal, um, whatever they have coated this metal in, it's already starting to peel off. So I don't actually know what these are made of. I don't know what this metal is or what these are made of, uh, but it's not a high quality. I consider that a wood burning tip. I consider this a wood burning tip. Uh, this could be a wood burning tip. Um, I guess this could be a wood burning tip. It's kind of got a, a skewed edge there. So maybe this would be a shader. Um, I think it would be really hard to shade with because it's not rounded at all. It's just completely flat. Um, so that might, it might be a little challenging, but you can probably make it work. You can probably make that work as a shader tip. Solder tip, solder tip, solder, solder. Um, this is another fine point tip. That can be used as a uh, fine point tip. I don't know what that business is. That to me looks like another solder type of tip. 
um, maybe a fine point tip. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I don't know what that is. Oh, that holds the hot knife. So you get a hot knife, a stamp, stamp. Okay, so these, these six tips, this is really a solder tip too. That's really too long to be a wood burning tip. It's got a fine point on it though. Anyway, um, gosh, these things just don't wanna stay in place. So let's look at what you got here. So you really got five tips that could be considered wood burning tips. This goes with the hot knife that holds it in place. And then three of them are the same thing. So these three tips are all fine point tips. I'm gonna try to pick these up so you can see them. They're all very similar. This one's got a little bit of a uh, rounder, sort of bigger edge here. So you could probably do some dot patterns, some stipple, stipples. Um, this one's a little finer point, and this is a fine point as well. And then of course you've got the skew. You can probably see here a little better that it's peeling or the coating, whatever that is, is coming off. And then this is the shader tip. This is really, these are really the only tips I would ever use out of this kit. So out of this giant 800 bazillion piece kit, these are really the only tips I would ever use. So you're really not getting nearly as much as you think you are. And if I were you, if it were me, I would go ahead and spring for the Walnut Hollow or the, the uh, Chandler tool because you're actually getting more in the kit. More actual things you can use. So I know I'm stressing this really hard and, <clears throat> and all that stuff, but that's just because so many people have messaged me about these kits and how they were unhappy with them. And, and I, I just want to you know let newbies know that it's better to pay for the um, the kits that appear to have less in it uh, than these. And you know, guys, if you want these, just occasionally buy the ones that you want. You don't have to get these. Are ugh, they're just they're just trying to get you to buy the kits, you guys. There, none of this is actually necessary. So let's this is heated up. Let's take a look at what we got here. I'm just gonna hold this up. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't switch the freaking thing on. Okay. Okay. Now let's wait for that to heat up. Um, so this is another one of these uh, big kit packs from Amazon. Different listing, same kind of deal. This is the hot knife thing, solder, another solder. These are solder. This is that. Stipple tip, straight edge, stamp, 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 stamp. All of these are stamps. There's that weird straight edge thing, stamp. Similar um, shadery thing. Um, oh, yeah. I'm getting mixed up over here, what I'm doing here. Hot knife. Uh, solder tip, solder, solder, stamp. Okay, so you even have, you have fewer in here. I think the skew's in here already. So the skew tip, I've already got it in here and loaded. So that's one, one wood burning tip. Where's the other one? Stipple, shader, this thing, and this thing. So, um, same deal, there's about five tips in here that I would actually use as wood burning tips, uh, and two of them are very similar. So, uh, same kind of deal. Different, different listing, same kind of situation. So, overall, um, my suggestion would be to steer clear of these. Uh, you're gonna have a much better go of it uh, with like a Walnut Hollow or a Chandler Tool than you are with one of these um, cheapo kits that promises a lot of pieces. I understand it seems like you're getting a lot, uh, but really you're not. Let's look at this. I can feel the heat coming off of it, so it's pretty hot. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay, it does get super hot. It's 
so it's no slouch in the heat department. Oh, it's hard to burn when I'm holding it in the air like that. Okay, it actually burns pretty decent. This fine point tip is not bad. It's a solder tip. Okay, we've talked about what to avoid. Let's talk about what are some good options since we want to avoid these Amazon Cheapo kits. Chandler Tool and Walnut Hollow both have really good options. Chandler Tool is a very simple, straightforward burner. You get eight tips in the kit. They're made of brass. They're high quality tips. They're gonna last you a long time. It's just a plug and go. So it's a very simple, very easy to use wood burning tool. Then you've got the Walnut Hollow Versatool, which is very similar to the Chandler tool as far as what you get in the kit. You get a few more pieces and it has a heat setting wand so you can actually uh, change the heat setting. So if you wanna burn on something other than wood like leather or paper or canvas, you're gonna need some of those lower heat settings. In one of my other videos where I measure temperature of these tools, the Chandler tool does get a couple hundred degrees hotter than the Walnut Hollow tool at the highest heat setting. So if you want something a little hotter, uh, the Chandler tool is a good option. However, if you ever need to turn down that heat, the option's not there. So you might wanna consider the Walnut Hollow. It just depends on what your long-term plans are for the burner. Either way, if you go with one of these options, you're going to be getting a high quality starter kit for wood burning. Both of these companies actually put thought into what these tools are and the user that's going to be using them. They are part of the wood burning community. If you get on social media, uh, they interact with their customers. They actually have their customer's best interest at heart. Uh, I know Chandler Tool has a lifetime warranty. Not 100% sure about uh, Walnut Hollow. I will check that out and put a little pop-up here or put some info in the description below. So if you're looking for a beginner kit, these two are really good options. And then once you decide uh, you are super into wood burning and you want to get a pro kit, uh, you can upgrade later to like one of the wire tip kits like a Colwood, a razor tip, an Optima, Burn Master, True Art, one of those. Those are all great options. I've got reviews for a few of those on my channel so you can check those out. The goal here, the purpose here is to remember to stay away from these cheapo, you know, generic Amazon-y type kits. You're much better off going with a branded kit from a company that actually cares about the end user. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some good info out of this and some good insight into what's really offered inside these kits. And if you're looking for a, a wood burning kit, maybe you're just getting started and you're thinking about purchasing a kit, really think that Chandler Tool, the Walnut Hollow, um, are good kits to go with for beginners. And if you hadn't heard, I am now on Patreon. There is a link below. So if you feel like supporting me or if you want to offer me support, uh, there is a way to do that now. I have a Patreon channel, so if you want to click that link below and check it out, there's three tiers there, something for everybody. Uh, so give that a look. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It's a great way to show me some support uh, just right here on the channel. Thanks, you guys.